Exactly. This is Ray, W2RE. We're here at W2 Summit. Yesterday we put up this eight element six meter. We're live. Over there's Bobby, he's gonna work on a capstan winch. Ray and I are gonna stabilize the antenna while he's pulling the uh, pull rope from the gym pole that we got a tram line hooked up to the truck here. So we're gonna start rolling here. We got our strap set up. We got our pulley set up. And uh, once we get up to about uh, 30 feet, we're gonna check it with the analyzer. And we have a rope over there that's for our guide rope. Okay, Bobby. Bobby's gonna get this capstan winch going here. Okay, just heard it start. And here we go. Ray and I are just lifting up slightly on the antenna. Ray and I are just going to keep the pressure off of it. Okay, we're going to let it go here. We're going to stand behind and see what it looks like. Okay, it's got a nice tilt to it. going up nice we do have a breeze here so we're gonna have to definitely use this tagline that Ray's on right there so once it gets to about 30 feet I'm gonna have Bob, Ray, Bobby cut the tra uh, capstan winch this is not a real heavy antenna but it's near 100 pounds so uh, everything's looking good We back guide the mast, so I'm not too concerned about that. If all goes well, this should go right into place. Again, it's kind of breezy. We've got about maybe 15 mile an hour uh, steady winds here, which isn't terrible for, for this location. Okay, I'm going to have Bobby cut it here. Bobby, cut it! I'm going to grab the analyzer. Okay, I got the MFJ analyzer here. I'm just going to scan the three bands. Anything under two to one is going to be acceptable because it'll improve as we get up. Okay. So the first band we're going to check is 20 meters. Okay, okay, under two to one throughout the whole band. That's good. Let's check uh, 15. 15 is a little high. And then 10 meters is dead on. Looks like 10 meters is good. 10 meters is one to one. 20 meters. One point eight, one point seven. That improve as we get up higher up. Fifteen. Fifteen just seemed to be off to me. There's a dip there, but it's not great. Alright, let's see how it is when we get it up there. Alright, fifteen meters is still a little over two to one, but it could be that it's close to the ground and it's close to that tram line. So we've seen this before with the analyzer where, you know, once it goes to a radio, it improves. So uh, let's put this to the side over here. So we got dips in all three, three bands, 15 being a little high, 20 in, uh, you know what, Bobby? Let's just go with it. Let's just go with it. Let's go with it. We'll uh, we'll test it when it's up there. Okay, you you put the you give it the tilt, Ray. Yep, go ahead. I'm gonna keep an eye on everything here. Put 
clearing that tree. At some point, that tree is going to have to go bye bye. At some point, you're going to have to walk it, Ray, on the opposite side of that tree. Okay. What's that? Okay. Because I don't know if you're going to get the angle from here. You might be able to, but I think once it clears that tree, get on the other side of it. That's it, just like that, yep. You can. Got it? Yep, let it stabilize. Here it comes back around again. Okay. I gotta look back here, so you're gonna you're gonna give it the tilt. We got a little bit of a breeze, so that's why it's getting off a little bit. So I could see from right here how it's going up. That was looking good. It's actually looking really good. Looks like it's going to clear those guys. Bobby's on the cap steering wrench, Ray's on the, the guide rope, as we call a tag line. The wind is blowing. Bobby! What happened? The wind blew. The wind blew and it got underneath that other. Okay, so we got to get that out of there. I don't know, Ray might be able to clear it. You might be able to. No, maybe not. Hold on. Okay, we're cleared now. All right, go ahead, Bobby. Uh, we got to get it stabilized. Okay. I'll tell you when to start up. The, the, what happens is the wind, the wind catches it. So I, right now it's, it's right caught up. It just cleared out of that bucket. So, okay. Why don't you go now? Hopefully, the little wind stays. Okay, it's all right. Dad, I will fix that. One of the elements got uh, caught up on the tower, but it's okay. One, one, one's, one's, one's ready to get bent. Um, uh, you know what? No. Leave it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up the tower. And you guys are going to pull it up by hand for the rest of it, okay? You only got about two or three feet, and I'm going to lock it in place. All right, so I'm going to get the... Okay. That actually went pretty good. That one end, uh, element's under a little stress, but it's not in fear of breaking or anything like that. And if it did, I got replacement. And it's right near the, the tower. So that went pretty smooth. Okay, I'm getting my climbing belt on here.
So this is approximately 100 feet we're going to climb to. We got an eight element six meter Yagi on the top of the mast. And now we're going to secure the 16 element tribander into place here. Okay, here we go on the climb. So play it, to play it on the safe side, I'm going to climb the back side of the tower, the opposite side of where the antenna came up. I already have my bucket up here at the top of the tower. When I set the tram line up earlier, I uh, brought up my bucket. Okay, that's 30 feet. It's always tricky doing this stuff live. You just never know what's gonna happen, but that went pretty smooth. If we didn't have the wind, Right into place but at the last moment the wind picked up and uh, created me to climb it would have been nice if it came right into place but we can maneuver that Zero. You can see where the truck is, where the tram line's going to. The QTH here. up here on a 2300 foot mountain. Okay, we're slowly making the trek up. I'm not a speedster like I used to be. Slow and steady wins the race. Is that what they say? Got an antenna dangling on a tram line here. Slow and steady. Alright, the element that got caught up right here. 
here. It's a little stressed, but like I said, nowhere near in fear of getting damaged. everything here everything looks pretty good here all right guys by hand yep hold up all right hold up hold up All right, go ahead. All right, hold up. I got to get it out, out of the tower here. Okay, I'm gonna get strapped in better here. Okay, go ahead. Okay, great. Won't you tie that off, tight as you can get it. This is pretty good. Got the bracket right next to the tower, uh, mast. Everything came up nice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna secure this bad boy. Let me, let me know when you got it tight. I want them to get it real tight because the way it is right now when I put it into place, it's going to be about an inch above the top of the thrust bearing, which will be nice. If you're watching this video live, you're probably wondering where we are. We are in the Catskill Mountains. The location is Summit, New York. And this is one of the best radial power dices in the world. Uh, as you can see, there's hardly any neighbors. So there's no noise floor here. And uh, across the valley there, if you could see that orange roof, there's an orange roof there. Uh, that is a, uh, a beautiful log home. On the opposite side of that orange roof to the left-hand side, the open field there is another location we own. And that's on a major road as you see cars going by i don't know if you could see it in the video that's uh, route 10 and that's where we have our jefferson location we don't have high speed internet here at this location so uh we're actually shooting wi-fi from there to here and we're getting 50 megabyte so uh to really get this station humming remote that's what we do okay guys great I'm gonna loosen up these U-bolts and put them into place here. All right, so this is gonna be a little tedious here. I'm gonna be here a while. Uh, I put these U-bolts in here uh, because I didn't have access to the uh, bucket. So instead of having them in my pocket, I decided that I was gonna put them into the mass rocket, which is not a big deal. It only takes a minute or two to take them out. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna try to position myself here where I'm comfortable. Got on the opposite side here. And now I'm gonna take these new bolts out. Another fun day on a tower. about the 15 meters but I've seen this before the tram line could have been interacting with 15 meters only and not bothering 10 and 20 there's one you bolt
fuel, isn't it? Even if I was in a ham radio operator, come up here, peace and quiet, no neighbors, a lot of wildlife. Problem is I can't live here. Too far from civilization, work. I'm, I'm approximately 200 miles north of New York City. And 60 miles west of Albany, New York, sitting in the north northern Catskill Mountains. So this antenna is stabilized right now. You bolt in here. Now this can be a little tricky. But it should go okay. I put some anti-seize on here already. As you can see, it's a little coated there. And that's to keep it from galling as I put the U-bolts in. So from my experiences, the best one to put in first is the center one on this 4U bolt setup here. So, how might be this? GXP gives you long U bolts, which is nice. Gives you enough room to get them into place here. Sometimes it's tricky. I'll admit to get them lined up just right. I hate when one gets in too far like it did just now. So there we go. Flat washer. Flat washer. Lock washer. Lock washer. That's one in. Okay. Okay, the next U bolt. Next U bolt. missing one of the bigger U-bolts. I'm going to use this smaller U-bolt. The same... It's the same uh, two and three quarters or two and a half inch. It's a little smaller diameter. I'm going to put this one in here for, for the timing. I'll replace it later on. And for some reason I misplaced one of the four U-bolts. So this one... all over again it takes time plus we were, we drank too much a couple nights so it's tough for us to get up in the morning come up here and party too not all about doing antenna work but I have you got to enjoy life a little bit so we make some pleasure while we're up here as well I hope I'm 
I'm not boring you guys. Like I said, this part is the tedious part. I'm trying to get this all secured and ready to go here. Looking for two nuts. Looking for two nuts. Where are those two nuts? What did I do with them? I don't know what I do them in this bag. There they are. One. Two. Okay. Like I said, this U-bolt wasn't the right U-bolt, but I'm going to replace it later. So I'm just going to secure it for now. Came up with a different game plan. Everything's an improvise. like I planned it. Beautiful. Just like I planned it. Yeah, I talk to myself. If you're watching this video, you're probably as crazy as I am. Because you're watching it. Right? Gotta be a little crazy watching a guy at 100 feet. Try to put a 100 pound antenna into place here. So I gotta tilt this down a little bit. So what I do is I take my arm and press down on this. As I'm doing right now. Okay. There we go. Bam. 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 Thank you. 
with me. Do that by eye. Okay. Now we're gonna get the 13 millimeter. Oops. notice here is if you look it almost looks like it's tilting down this way so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a little snug and then I'm gonna put my my shoulder underneath here and try to straighten it out so I think the best way to do that is to do the top one first okay what I do get a bad wrench here Wrench doesn't feel so good. Okay, that worked that way. Okay. See, I just lifted up on it now. Got my shoulder on it. Okay, hold on a second. This one I'm just giving me a headache. Not locking into place. the other one. Live. I can't believe I'm doing this live. Live TV, I have a broken socket. 
wrench. That yeah, could be worse. I could have no wrench at all. Yeah! Yeehaw, cowboy! Started to work now. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I think the bearings are shot in this thing. Like I said, I'm going to replace this later. Fun, fun. Are you bored yet? Watching a guy at 100 feet put an antenna on a mast? Well, if you want to see it live, you have to see the whole thing, no? I mean, we could cut it up into pieces, but then it wouldn't be live, would it? You guys are probably saying this guy's nuts. I used to drive a truck for a living. That was a lot safer. Pepsi Cola, 30 years. Don't miss it. Okay, it's getting tight. Okay, that's secure. All right. Looks pretty close to the antenna above me. Next thing we're gonna do is put up the 
boom strike. Get that in the play. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna have them release the tram line so I can get these yellow straps off. Yo, Bobby! Can you release the tram line? Bring it to the tower. And the back guy wire line too. And that line going back there, but it's not real tall right now. Could actually, well, I'm waiting for him to do that. I can release this guy. Not the pull rope, the, uh, the guy. The tag line. I taped it so this way it wouldn't slide down the tower, down the element. Had that happen once. Don't ever let it happen again. Take the tram line and come toward the tower. it by hand and now he's gonna walk it towards the tower for me. See if you can walk gotta lift it. This is airline if you look at it it's like quarter inch airline cable aircraft cable I should say not airline aircraft what am I thinking Okay, walking around that tree. All right, beautiful. Okay, good. Do the, the one on the back side too. Okay, and now he's gonna release the one that we used for the back guy of the mask. He's gonna release that as well. So, we temporarily tested the six yesterday. This is all gonna get taped up. Nicey nice. Um, this boom looks perfect, man. So, all I gotta do is just get the uh, boom strut in place. Once he releases this back line. Um, I'm gonna get this tram line off the mast. Once that happens, I'll put the boom strut from this uh, antenna onto the mast and get that into place. here in the Catskills. So you've seen us tram this antenna from start, from the beginning, and you're gonna see us finish it up here if we don't run out of battery life on the GoPro. 
Summit, New York is in the northern Catskill Mountains. It's actually a little bit north of the range. The Catskill whole range is right down there, right down, down this boom. The closest mountain to the south of me is called Stanford. The mountains to the left are uh, around uh, Hunter and Wyndham, New York. Okay, you release that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to release this command line. So what I got to do is grab the right tools. Okay, I got the socket for that. And I'm going to basically climb up the mast here. Maybe I won't have to go all the way up the mast. Oh, that scared me, but that's a plane. I thought there was lightning there or thunder for a second. <laughs> How can that be with no rain clouds? I hear him. He's flying pretty low. I don't see him though. Alrighty. So put this guy into place here. Release this guy because he's gonna stop me from going up. Alright. Let's see if we can do this without any struggles here. I need you to undo the rope from the tree. Oh, the reason I can't and won't lower is the rope for the gym pole is tied to that tree. If you remember earlier, I told the guy to tie it, tie it off so I could uh, get this plate onto the mast. So once he unties that, this will slide right down. Then I could start dismantling these yellow straps from the boom. Um, get all the tram stuff out of the way so I can put this boom um, bracket. Uh, here we go. Slide it right down. Here we go. All right, get it to a spot where I can work with it. It's a lot easier to walk, work. A lot easier to work with it on the tower legs instead of being on the top of the tower. But this may sound a little nutty. I don't mind working from the mast. Not a big deal. Alright. Let me put my safety lanyard in place here. This is the one with the shock absorber on it. Alrighty. All right, so let's eye this out.
lights are off. Send that down later with the gym pole. So this is what I want to do. I want to disconnect this bad boy. Get the rope off of here. Get all the tension off of this. Hey guys, get out of the way for a second. I'm gonna just let this pulley ride down. It's easier just to let this ride down. There it goes. Okay. I did that on purpose for that. Actually, since you guys are rolling that up, I can send that down to you. Let me just get the gym pole. Uh. All right, let me get this strap off of here. Let's get this tram line out of here. getting comfortable is the most important factor when you're doing this stuff you know okay and I'm just gonna loosen it up from the back side here I find these things are pretty cool to just wrap around the mast get real tight. I use these all the time. Hook up the tram lines. on here. 
if I can take it off some of it. line myself I don't need any help with this so here that comes down hey Ray at the base of the tower I'm gonna need you on do this rope just go yeah go at the base of the tower and pull that tram line Let him do the pulling. Alright, we're getting there. You thought it was gonna be easy, didn't you? Okay. 
Now you gotta pull the rope back up for me, all right? All right, hold up. Caught up. Okay. All right, don't go too far. Okay. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to get on the opposite side of that boom. So this is going to get connected to the back guy. Now we're gonna turn the pulley so it's easy for him to guide it down. Okay, we're gonna guide down the next cable. Okay, Ray, disconnect that cable from the pulley rope. Okay. So now that that's taken care of, now we can do the boom start. Now we can do the boom strut. Right at the base. Pull it back up to me. Oh, wait, you know what? Don't pull it up to me. We're gonna have to add a piece of rope to that because I don't have rope up here to lower the gym pole down. We used that for the pull line yesterday, so just leave the rope there for now. Just wind up that cable. Try to do it away from the tower while I'm working up here. Okay. Let's get our bearings straight here now. And get rid of these straps off of here. Those are done. Let me get my belt secure here. Get my belt all lined up here. So I have four lanyards on my belt. Three ropes. And one safety. Three ropes and one safety with a shock absorber. I use all four of them. So now I just gotta go down the boom here and grab these straps, which is not a big deal. These are four foot straps. I usually just throw this strap down, make sure there's nobody around. Let me 
the long arms, which I don't have. Well, I guess they're long enough. I did reach the four feet out. Okay. Hey Ray, when you want, when you finish winding that up, there's a yellow strap on the ground. One went into the weeds. If you're looking at it from the house, it went into the weeds and to the right. Not very deep in. I don't want to lose that strap. I seen where it went. Now, now I'm losing these U-bolts. I take these U-bolts out. And it's like that. Let's do that. Put anti seize on these already. I use the mask man. Okay, I use the mask now. Seems the best method. Use Philly strand. The mass strand stuff seems to last a long time. Okay. You see the strap? Okay, there's one. Go out to the grass in front, in the front. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna walk him into that other strap. Okay. The other one, keep on walking. Keep on walking. Now go in, stop. Now go in. It should be right in there somewhere. Right, right, it should be right on the edge. It didn't go in very far. No, you're too far in towards the tower. And went closer. Yeah, went closer to the grass. I mean, literally, it was right on the grass edge. That one, and then there's one right on the. Stop. Now come in. Should be right in there somewhere. Look straight down. Try to your right a little bit. Right in there somewhere. Okay, good.
method of doing things. I got a good ground crew, so it makes my life a lot easier. They're down there getting everything packed up and ready to roll to the next job. So if you notice, there's a lot of maneuvering on the tower itself to go from one spot to the next. And that's why it's good to have multiple lanyards, in my opinion. Some guys just climb one lanyard. I don't know why they would do that. But like I said, everybody has their own method of doing things. So that's the 13, I need the 10 millimeter. Coax. All right, so let's see what we can do here. Probably want to get this snug by. Since I got those in, let's undo the tape holding the rope in place. Tape the rope so it wouldn't fall off when we're pulling up. 